Hi there, good morning. Mr. Ballion here, Alexi Ballion. Um, just going to do a bit of work here, continue with what we've been uh, doing in class. And just a quick review here. I've actually created a layer, a layer uh, with the items that I've unwrapped. And I've actually colored them red so I know what I've unwrapped. And my goal is to have this entire house on one sheet of UV, UV sheet of maybe 2048. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll open up my, uh, I'm just going to click out for a second. Object mode, click. Nothing is selected, it just should be empty, and it is. Okay, so I like to bring this uh, panel close here, zero to one. And look, I'll select one, and you'll see where is it? It's on the right, on the left here. Okay, so this is the piece that I've unwrapped. I'll hold shift, three, four, not that one, this one here. Uh, why is that's kind of bizarre though. Something is selected here that I have no idea what it is. I don't know what this one is right there. So do it again quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items right now that are here. And you can see that I will eventually uh, bring them over on that on this on this spot here. Okay. So what I want to do is maybe um, work on uh, one of these surfaces, um, the house. Okay. So what I did earlier, I applied the I applied the auto wrap, unwrap actually, and um, as well, you will see that I also deleted the bottom face here. Okay. So look, I'm going to slide over the bottom face. Good thing is I zeroed everything out earlier, so if I come back to zero, you'll see we'll be back to where it was. I froze the transform, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, so um, if you do a quick unwrap like this and let Maya unwrap it for you, you'll find this semi cross uh, a T pose, T unwrap. But however, I like the um, automatic unwrap and watch the difference here. Okay, so look how cool the difference is going to be as soon as you. And this is all review for you guys. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is awesome. So you can see form-wise, it's very similar. It's a matter of me just um, welding these pieces together. Okay, so what I like to do is quickly just go to face and just find out where that is. Okay, so it's here. If I go quickly and go to shell, click, and E for rotate counter counterclockwise, one, two, there's my first piece. Okay, so this is good. And um, W, you can slide it over wherever I want. Okay, well let Maya do the rest quickly by just simply, one of the things I like to do just to make sure I'm in UV mode, and there it is, they're all in UV, it's the color. I'm just going to go to edge quickly and I'll select this one. You can see that's the adjoining face, so uh, move and sew. Alright, so that's nice. I'm just going to right click quickly and go to shell and press W for move. And I'll bring it here, and this is good review for you guys. And I'm going to go quickly to UV and align here, okay? So here's what I'll do. I'll just go to UV again, somewhere here, and I'll select these faces. And I want it to align up to the top surface here, the edge, actually. Done. Okay. So these two, I'll just do the same thing. I'll just go to the top. Done. Okay. So, you know, like, obviously, that's, that angle is kind of weird. That's okay for now. Let's go to the left side of this and by press selecting edge and let Maya do its magic. Move and sew. Sweet. Same as before. I could have waited to do this, but again, I like reviewing things with you guys. UV, select all these UVs here. Upper edge alignment, boom, right there, done. And these two, I can do the same as well, upper edge, nice, okay? So, um, wrapping, and I have one more surface, I think, in the back. And um, yeah, it's the back surface. And I think, what it sounds to me, I have a roof here, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I have a feeling it's these two here. So what I'll do right now, I'll go to object mode quickly, boom. And bring it up and yes I have a feeling oh yeah we don't need these faces face one two make sure nothing else is selected good to go delete object mode go to your translates uh, let me just right click to object mode click on boom and I'll just zero it out again back to normal see now that surface is gone ski okay so come back here and I'm gonna select uh, let's say this edge here what else can I do? Anything more interesting than that? No, not really. Edge, and then move in so as you know. Okay, cool. And then last thing I'll do here, I'll just um, UV it and go to UV mode and align to the top edge. Okay.
Okay, <laughs> this is going to look a little bizarro, but that's okay. I'll just take this edge, slide it over and up. You can come over. And, you know, I'm just trying to make things look somewhat proportional or, um, yeah, proportion is a good word. Okay, relative size here. Okay, so this is pretty good. Just I'm looking at the top edge. Maybe I can bring that up a bit. All together, we're good. All right. Looks like this one needs to come down a bit. No worries. Okay, so if I go to shell right now, click R for scale. Right, I'm just going to move it here, W somewhere down here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I have this piece done, okay, I'll just go to object mode over here, object mode. You'll see what I'm about to do. I want to change the edge color to be red, which is in my layers, right? So go right click. Uh, where is it? Add selected object. So if I click out now, that should be red. Sweet, right? So you can see now the edge is red, and I know visually that I've done that piece. I can also do this one, or you know, like right now, you guys know. Um, yeah, I can do this one too. Why not? It's, it's going to be when I airbrush this, paint it in Sketchbook Pro, it's going to be the same uh, material pretty much. Okay, just for the sake of review, why not do it again? Okay, so remove W. Let me just see that. Kill, kill the history, center of the pivot, sweet. Okay, and let's do this right from the top. Say bye bye to these faces. One, two, delete, and object mode, bring it up a touch, let's look over, clean, clean as a whistle, there we go, zero that out, beauty, okay, so then I'll be, I'm still in object mode as you can see, I'll do auto unwrap, much better, I'll just pick a face here, I know where it is, right click again, so again let me just zoom in for you guys, and it's really, it's really nice to review over, over, over and over the same steps, okay, so right click, go to shell, click once, E for rotate, counterclockwise, one, two, that's perpendicular, W. Okay, and uh, I could do this one too if I want, shell. I can quickly rotate it clockwise, one, two, and move it up. And this way, actually, if, even if you're, I've seen people put both faces on top of each other like that. Okay, but I'm not for now. Okay, but you can, because uh, essentially it's the same idea. Okay, so let's go to face here. And you see where that is, right? And I don't know which edge is which. I'll let Maya figure it out for me. Go to edge, click once here. You know the drill, move and sew. Okay, that's done. I'll just grab this one and I'll do G, repeat last command, done. And then let's go to UV again and let's move, let's align these to the top. Hold shift, these two, and up it goes, done. Okay, I'll just come over here and these two as well, holding shift. Oh, missed one. And align to the top edge. Good enough. Okay, you can even leave it like that for all I care. You don't have to go full on, um, you know, length, but it's up to you. So if I go to shell now, look, I can move it myself, bring it here, okay? And I know what Maya is going to do next for me. If I go to edge, there you go, edge, polygon, move in so. All right? I could rotate this whole thing, but I'm just going to stick to whatever I'm repeating the entire and that's taking these top UVs, you and you, and just bring them up quickly. Take this one straight up, this one is over, straight up, and you know, I'll bring them over myself. I'm just having fun here. Okay, so it's something like that. And then I'll take all of it, slide it over. Okay, if you're not happy with it, you want to be a perfectionist, go for it. There you go. All right, good enough. And we'll go to shell one more time, boom, and now watch R for scale, make it smaller, maybe the entire um, plane here, like I mean um, the X, Y length, press W here. See if I can pop it in here on, yeah, the other one's going to be larger, so I'll bring it down here for now, and I'm going to go to object mode, right, you can see, and now what I'll do is I'll, this is my favorite part, I mean you guys know, add selected objects, okay? now. You're out here, you're going, yeah, I don't know what I've done here. I don't know which ones I've, I know it's red. How do I select them? Do I have to go one by one? Actually, you don't. Once you select one, you right click, Marty, come on in, and then you just go and um, select objects. Look how nice that is. So all of this is selected for us, okay? I think this was pretty good, and I can, um, you know, there is a tool here. I'm not gonna do this, uh, where is it? 
So this version, it's really cool. Let's say it should be in green. Uh, layout. Boom. Pretty awesome, eh? All right. Like I know Maya did this for me right now, and it all came in. I like to control it myself by knowing where things are. So I'm going to go Command Z. Again, it was polygons, and you go to layout. It's nice and green. It's new, and it kind of puts everything on that sheet for you. Okay. Valiant out. I think this is good enough for now, and then I'm just I gotta get into the next room soon. Maybe I'll do the roof on my own and go from there. Bye for now. Valiant.